I will bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. As we lift our voice in worship, we bless your holy name. You are great. You do miracles. So great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Like you. You are great. You do miracles. So great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Is a man or room? Nina Mema Anoro in a warrior Anoro Nebo DK Biaro Abrezio Anoro in a warrior Jesus Christ Anoro in a yendo. Anorum, Ebu Dike, Yarua, Aburiz, Chukudima, Edema, 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 Lift your hands and say to God morning we thank you for all your people that are gathered for this service this morning Lord we pray that every life we encounter fresh touch from heaven Spirit of God 
only by your mercy and your grace are things possible speak through my mouth the very words that will encourage that will correct that will strengthen that will empower your children at every activity of evil we never hold sway in their lives again lord jesus may those appointed to be saved be saved may those appointed to be healed be healed anyone going through crisis intervene in their lives oh lord those who are under pain and grief and sorrow may your word bring them comfort and consolation father those ones who are barren who don't have children or barrenness in business or otherwise as the word of god will come may their matters be settled in jesus name those whose blessings are delaying and people are asking them where is your god for each of them lord arise on their behalf arise on their behalf arise on their behalf lord spirit of god may no one live here the same anyone going through all forms of demonic attacks this morning you will grant them deliverance in the name of jesus christ father speak through my mouth and bless your children i vow to give you all the glory thank you for this privilege in jesus christ's name let me hear you offer god the loudest amen celebrate jesus with a clap on frame as you take your seat god bless you i want you to believe in your heart this morning that god has never failed anyone before and he will not start with you help me to say to your neighbor god has never failed anyone and he will not start with you somehow a lot of people have exercised faith had spoken in faith had acted in faith but somehow what they believed for never happened and most of them get discouraged and frustrated but this morning the lord said to me tell my children the only life to live and they will attract me all the time is life of faith so i'm going to be talking about living by faith how do i still believe god when there are things around me that have challenged my faith and somehow i have not gotten results why should i still be believing but i've believed for 10 years i've believed for 20 years and most of the things i have believed i have not seen them and you are still asking me to believe standing with god in obedience and confidence believing he will make good his promises is the only key that keep god attracted to your life to give up and to back out and to run away is to lose all you have gotten all these years living by faith is that subject matter we will never be tired of talking about as long as we live as believers in christ on earth popular scripture all of us know we'll read it to start on this matter hebrews chapter one some scholars call it the hall of fame for men and women of faith hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 let's read it now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see when we are sure of hope we are operating the subject of faith somebody say being sure of hope again being sure of hope one more time i'm hoping for it i've not got it but i'm sure 
when people start talking like that it, it sounds strange how can you be sure of what you're hoping for in my hands it's not there I've not even seen it I only have hope it will happen but I'm sure it will that is faith has it happened no are there indices around that it will happen no but what is your confidence I'm sure that he who promised is faithful and he will do it so our faith is not baseless our faith for it to stand must be anchored on the Lord Jesus somebody say my faith for it to stand and last it must be anchored on Jesus I've never seen Jesus neither have you I've never seen God neither have you but there is God for you to believe in what you have not seen is faith for I to believe in the invisible is faith for verse 6 of Hebrew chapter 11 says Hebrew 11 6 what did he say he said read so loud and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he reward those who earnestly seek him can we read that scripture again keep it up let's read it so loud everybody please can you be on your feet to read it thank you stand up because it's a very anchor scripture for us read it so loud everyone go and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he reward those take your seat if I must please God I must exercise faith if I don't exercise faith I cannot please God why if I must come to God I must believe that God exists there are some things happening in the life of so many and they begin to say Chine God it is self does God exist? if God exists and God is good why are all these things happening so much chaos and trouble in the world why wouldn't this all good God stop them but have you forgotten that man was given a free ability to choose between right and wrong between good and bad it is in your choice to say i believe or i don't believe there are too many persons on earth who don't believe in the existence of god that are called atheists even most persons now say that satan is even better because satan does his own thing sharp sharp but excuse me satan cannot give you anything free whatever satan gives you you will pay for it satan is so wicked in fact he is as wicked as he is liberal satan's liberality is wickedness personified anything you get from satan and when you want to pay the greatest price of your life is your soul satan demands your soul from you i've told you of a man who was 45 years was a boy in a men market but he was 20 years and his master said to him and he started business his friends told him if you are making money the way you are making in trickles of gain you won't be a billionaire in a very short time let's take you to a place where casa gaka Hmm? let's enhance you you make much money in a very short time and he agreed and they took him there and he made the man who was there said to him well you're going to make money big huge amount in a very short time but you will die at 45 and he accepted 
for him 45 is a long time you know when you are 20 and they're talking about 45 is in the eye of so many is a very long time he accepted the deal and came back home and somehow somehow things began to work out satan aided him satan assisted him satan can assist but he will add sorrow you didn't hear what i said the blessings of god make it rich but but the blessings of satan make it rich and multiply it sorrow sorrow the guy came back and satan aided him and he began to so to say began to have materials things and he expanded in wealth grew in wealth at the age of 40 at the age of 40 they called him and they said to him your time on earth remains five days by then he had gathered so much money so much wealth built factories had trailers everywhere so wealthy so to say but but at the age of 43 they called him again and they asked him to round off Chikota Niri Jugo Ukaparapa There is no other life but the life of faith. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 said 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 said that we live by faith and not by sight. Now I want to stress it a little. Somebody say I live by faith not by sight. Now listen, what the eye can see, for instance, in our country, what the eye could see is very discouraging. Talk to me. Very, very what? Discouraging. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. What the eye could see makes somebody to say, there's no more hope. What the eyes could see a woman said to me my husband beats me every week and the beating is thorough beating no there's a beating like one slap that one is you know just appetizer beating but when there is beating with bruises beating with what bruises on the face such that even teeth will come out it is called thorough beating. <laughs> and she said to me, I want to leave him. I want to go. I said, well, if you leave, nobody will really blame you because he may beat you to death one day. But stay. Let's keep praying for his salvation. But you must learn a secret and she said what I said no matter what your husband says no matter the kind of abuse he rains on you if you don't want any beating don't reply because it's what you reply that provokes him to beat so whatever he says accept and swallow it and pray for his encounter and you are a believer so when the man begins to abuse her like before, she will keep quiet. Then the man got angry. I'm talking and you are keeping quiet on me. Okay, she talk, talk, talk. And she refused to talk. After some months, 
the husband decided to come to this fellowship he heard the woman didn't know the husband would come he heard the things we say and one day the man decided to come and see me and he said to me what did you tell my wife that made her shut up as I told her that what provokes you is what she says so whatever you say she should not talk and if she stopped talking back you will stop beating her that's why for the past six months you've not beaten her because she has not talked back and he said to me thank you for saving my marriage <laughs> thank you for saving my marriage and I said what license do you have to abuse your wife but it took that woman a lot of patience and faith to go that far. The man said to me, Oju me isi. Anas ma ami ife neku. Nsi anase. No oju gi isi. Me chiku anu nkegi. Inwe rano. When a man calls the wife a prostitute, what does that say? It means that the husband is a customer. that does not even pay well when the man calls the wife a gorilla who is the man a chimpanzee only chimpanzees can marry gorillas when a man calls the wife an idiot who is he a compound mumu only a mumu can marry an idiot by the time I began to tell him all the things he was calling the wife, all the names, he found out that he was as stupid as the things he was saying. I said, You see how you feel, but you have abused her for 20 years of marriage. Brethren, it's not easy to endure and to exercise faith over matters that when your eyes see, you will say, I can do. There are some of you looking at me. He said, If it is me, eh? Maybe. I work with you again, man. What if you, man? Just pray that if you carry it again, no. What you are saying is threatening you. But stay with God. You will go through. What you are looking at is challenging. But stay with God. He will deliver you. What is happening in your family is too painful. But stay with God. You will go through it. Do you know this song that says, Jehovah Nadendo? You know that song? Sing with me. Jehovah Nadendo. Ewo Asi Nameje Ije Nandaburugu Anwo Jehovah even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil for thou art with me that's the only assurance brethren since we were born in Nigeria and what you go and be the man and some brethren it's been tough and rough and difficult somehow God has been carrying us through. Be on your feet, somebody. Help find somebody and say, that same God that has been helping you in the midst of difficulties, that same God will continue to help you till the end of your life. Say, neighbor, stay with God. If it is easy, stay with God good times stay with God bad times stay with God difficult times stay with God even if your prayers are not answered stay with God you are safer there you are safer there you are safer there you are safer there 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Even if it's not working well, stay with God. Even if every hope is lost, stay with God. You are safer there. Take your seat. The Bible said, you walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is taking steps even though there is no logical reason to take steps. You didn't hear what I said. Faith is what? Taking steps that look stupid. Taking steps that is not logical. It's not consequential. But you are what? You are taking the step. Hello? Making moves. Making plans as if things are normal. Whereas nothing seems to work. Yet, you're planning. Am I communicating, church? I want to ask you a very funny question. Do you have a car? Have you priced a car before? You've priced the car. You are doing well. There are many of you here who don't have a car, but you've never priced a car. If you have never priced a car, I'm sorry for you. You mean you will live on earth and die without pricing a car? Go and price it. Nobody will beat you. At least you've not bought it before, but you have priced it before. You know how much they sell it. In fact, go and learn how to drive. Get a driving license. Buy a car key and put it in your house. Start talking like a car owner. Am I making sense to anybody here? <laughs> so there's something happening in you as you are behaving like that. When you need vehicle, go and drive a friend's car. Nobody is asking you whether it is your own. From driving friend's car, you develop the spirit of a car owner. I've not mentioned money in all I have been saying. Oh. that is how to operate life make moves as if you are about entering there even though nothing is available if you want to stand up stand up and say father give me the strength to take steps believing that something will change even though nothing is physically working may I never give up until I get there. Let me hear you shout the loudest. Amen. Take your seat. Is he walking? No. But are you taking steps? Yes. That is faith. Is he walking? No. But are you where you used to be? No. You are making moves. And every move you make betters your life than it was before it's like somebody who graduated from the university and got a job of 40,000 and you are angry that, that the money they pay is too small a whole graduate that paid me 40 and you because of it will not do that job because it is not according to your level and you stay idle you are the most foolish human being on planet earth that 40,000 naira job, even though it can only pay transport, now Pugoda Apple. In the morning, take your bath. When everybody is going, 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 you, you go. Go to work. Do the work. You may have done it. While you are doing that job or whatever you got, you are looking for somewhere else. One day you may get somewhere else and they need two years work experience at least, you already have it as you are going to that work you are improving your CV you are improving your experience you are no more a fresh graduate faith says start with little but you will not stay there forever I pray for somebody who wants to build a house even though the money is not enough, start anyway, start anyhow. I pray that when you start, favor and grace will carry you through in the name of Jesus Christ. 
take your seat. There are too many people who are landlords who didn't have enough money when they started the building. Talk to me, somebody here. They didn't have enough money when they took steps to start. In fact, if they were told they will finish the house, they would not believe. But they started anyway. Any block you put on top of the other will never come down. You didn't hear what I said. You were a block. Do not need be a shock? Why? Ogaritu. Twenty years ago, it gaho ko gaano. Therefore, whatever move you make, even though it is not where you are going, but you are not where you used to be. Be on your feet again. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking to those who believe in the Bible. Say, neighbor, you are going somewhere. Even though your movement is small, little, little steps, insignificant movement. But you are not where you used to be. You have moved a little. Even though you are not yet there, keep making moves by faith. Little by little. You are gaining experience. You are getting connections. And you are moving little by little. You will eventually get there. Shout the most dangerous amen wherever you are. But to stay one place, no. Not to move at all, no. Faith says you must move. Even though the movement may not be significant, but movement is movement. James 2.14 James 2.14 That's what I have just said now is taking me to James 2.14 Amen. There are, before we read James 2.14, there are today, there are people who are professors today. Who are what? Professors today. Who wrote Wayek three times? You didn't hear what I said. There are medical professors today who wrote Jump five times to read medicine. Talk to me now. Today, they are medical professors and nobody wrote Jambo five times on their certificate. What if they stopped at the third one? I know somebody who wrote Jambo six times. He's a medical doctor now. He said, I told them, even if they refuse to pass me, I will write jump until jump jambi. And he eventually got it and read medicine. Very fine doctor. He's living in UK now, practicing. Hey, even if you failed the first time, get up and push on. He didn't hear what I said. Even if you tried the first time, it didn't work. Do what? Try again. Faith says, don't back out until you get it right. James, give me that scripture first. Read. Very loud, everybody. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claim to have faith but have no deeds, can such faith save him? Answer. You, you say I have faith, but no action. Can such faith save you? No. The next verse, very long verse, but let's read. Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you said to him, go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical need, what good is it? Are, are you understanding that? Let's read on. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Read it again. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is what? Dead. You can have dead faith if there's no action backing what you're, what you're doing. Read on. But someone will say, you have faith. I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds. And I will show you my faith by what I do. If you say you have faith and you are not taking those little, little steps, that faith is useless. Faith must be accompanied by action. Because until you take action, grace will not be released. I will still show you. Verse 19. 
Read. Read very loud, everybody. You believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe and they tremble. How many of you know that Satan believes in God? Yay. What in the Bible now? Demons believe in Chukude. But the only things are when they believe, they what? They shake. They tremble. It makes them to tremble. So even Satan have faith. <laughs> Read on. Verse 20. You foolish man. Do you want evidence that faith without deed is useless? Anybody who say I have faith but does not take action is foolish. Be on your feet, everybody. Guy go yours. Go ya go ya go ya very loud. Want to go? Okay. Read again. Read with, as if you're serious. Go. Faith without beats is what? Useless. Read on. Keep standing. Read on. Next one. Consider righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar. Continue. I'll come back here. Continue. You see that his faith and his action were working together. And his faith was made complete by what he did. Continue. And the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited as righteousness and he was called God's friend. Take your seat and let me explain. Let's be sincere here. Seriously sincere. But I'm sorry I'm coming to you again. You have a child isn't it? Not yet. Okay. Let me, let me ask somebody who have a child. Uh -huh. Madam, that your son Hmm? That your beautiful son, handsome, wonderful son. Now, assuming you were Abraham, and God asked you to take that boy and kill the boy for him, will you agree? Why? Because he's your only son. You don't want to sacrifice him. What if God insists? If God insists, you will do it. She naked me. What if your husband come and tell you God said we should kill this boy? What if your husband said that? You will convince him carap with this boy. <laughs> so you will convince him. Let's leave this boy. Excuse me. Isaac was born when Sarah was 90 years. Church, talk to me here. How many years? 90 years. Hi. When the boy became 16 years, at 16 to 90, how many? Sarah was 106 years. Abraham was 100 years when Isaac was born. At 16, 116 years. At the age of 116, a baby you got at the age of 100 was 16 years. God now instructed you to take the boy and make suya for him. Just think about it. Daddy, let me ask you. I know you have a lot of sons. And God asked you to take one of them to go and make suya for him. What is the first thing you will tell God? You don't... He said he won't have... He said, God, I don't have enough faith to do what you're asking me to do. What if he's an only son? One and only. It would be very difficult. And thank God Abraham did not tell Sarah. If Abraham told Sarah about that movement, Isaac came away born age. Come on, poor police. Poor wonder. I mean. <laughs> but Abraham took this boy. Hey. Romans 4.16. What did he say? What did Romans 4.16 say? I hope 
That scripture will help us. Can we read that place? Read, want to go. Therefore, the promise comes by faith, so that it may be by grace, and may be guaranteed on to all Abraham's offsprings. Not only to those that are of the law, but those that are of the faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. The next verse, verse 17, what did he say? As it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed that God gives life to the dead and called the things that are not as though they were. Can you read the next verse? I will still bring you back to all this. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Just as it has been said to him, so shall your offsprings be. Verse 19. Now, this is a serious matter. Be on your feet. Let's do this if you can. Read it every, everybody very loud. Without weakening, being weak in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about how many years? And that Sarah's womb was also dead verse 20 yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God the next verse being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he promised hey, this is too much now being fully what? Persuade. Ask your neighbor, are you fully persuaded? Joy us and Honoria. That God has power to do what He promised. Join us or joy. Are you fully persuaded? Are you convinced beyond all reasonable doubt that God has power to fulfill His promises? You know, Abraham believed that even if he kill Isaac and burn him to ashes, that God will out of ashes bring another Isaac for him. When they were going to make the sacrifice in Genesis 22, when they came to a point, he said to those who were going with them, you wait here. Let me go and worship with the boy and we shall come back. He knew he was going to kill that boy. But he still believed the boy will come back. What kind of a man was that? The, the boy asked him, we have fire. We have wood. We have knife. Where is uh, the goat? He said, God will provide himself a sacrifice. What kind of a man was Abraham? What kind of faith was that? Touch your neighbor and say, I know. It has been difficult in this country. But the life of faith will sustain you until God establishes you. Shout a dangerous amen if you are a believer. Take your seat. I'm rounding off. God called Abraham his friend. He had hope against hope. What kind of faith is that? That he believed that God will make good his promises. But remember, faith cannot operate if you don't obey God. Somebody say, faith is obeying God first. Obeying God first. Obeying God first. That's faith. You must obey God first. Then you will stand out and claim his promises. I want to begin to tie the knot. But how does faith operate for a believer? How do you operate faith? First of all, by believing that God exists. Secondly, by speaking like it. Thirdly, by acting like it. Amen? Amen. If you are sick and they pray for you for healing, after saying amen, get up and start behaving like somebody who is well. Madam, if you don't have a child, we have prayed that God will give you a baby. Go to market and buy baby things and keep in your house in preparation for the arrival of your children. Am I communicating, church? 
or God, you don't have enough money for the building. Well, make sure that when money enters your hand, start buying rod little by little. Five pieces of rod, four pieces of rod, two trips of sand, one trip of stone. Let the materials be available before the project. You didn't hear what I said. If they are buying land, you don't have money to buy from Transinkese, 70 million. Look for somewhere that's selling 2 million and begin to pay little by little. Don't wait! You must take action for your faith to make sense. Imagine a graduate in Nigeria. Every day he will come to church and be praying. Oh God, make a way for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, give me a job. Is your day, Amma? Is your day, Amma? Is your day, Amma? Because it's exercising faith without action. You won't like it. I know you won't like this one. That person praying to God for a job should go and what? And start something somehow, somewhere. Sell granite if you don't know what to do. Sell ice block. <laughs> if you don't know what to sell learn something learn how to do something the video that is going viral from our church is because I emphasize on it a judge met me at the airport in Lagos and said to me I have posted your video on the platform of judges in Nigeria because that video is making sense I said but I mean why wouldn't anybody look for something doing you come to church every day pray 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 after prayer go and look for what to do so that God will bless that thing you are doing through the prayer you prayed. If you see it, you can see it. If you see it, you can see it. Agent of darkness. Idol people are agent of darkness. Idol mind is a devil's workshop. Idolness is a sin. Touch your neighbor and say, Idolness. It's a sin. After praying, after fasting, after everything, after faith, take action. Do something. Mm? Then your faith would have made sense. Your faith would have been real. And all the young ladies here, listen to me. If you are a young lady, you are looking for your husband. Or husband is looking for you. No man is looking for liability. Every husband wants somebody who is doing something. You didn't hear what I said. Oh, where a chunk of chore, also go Masia Maboro, a queen of Iveso again. I am Tamata. When you're Maloma, never a coro, Malami Beribe. You didn't hear what I said. I said to one young boy, name a fine boy, a fine, he said, Oh, fine boy, Kayata. Go and look for something doing. You know? Even if in a minari, Amanta fine boy, Ata. Your faith must be accompanied with action. And God will bless your efforts. Let me close by saying the subject of faith must work by utterance. For faith cometh by hearing. And hearing the word of God. Be on your feet. I want to close. Find somebody and say, Faith. No, but I will not fail. That thing wakes up something in you. Somebody said to your neighbor, Even though it has not worked out, it will surely work out. Keep moving. Keep standing. Keep working. You will get there. Say, Amen. For faith to work, engage your mouth. For faith to work, do what? Engage. He collect the things that be not as though they were. He collect the things that be not as though they were. Begin to engage your mouth. Somebody say, I'm going somewhere in life. Even though I'm not yet there. And the economy is very bad. I will still get there. I'm still alive. There is still hope for me. Shout with anger. There is still hope for me. Because I'm still alive. I am better than the dead. I can move Do this.
look at yourself in the mirror in the morning call your name three times and tell yourself something in you will wake up look at your neighbor say talk to yourself from time to time tell yourself what God said concerning you and you shall be revived shout amen somebody leave your seat and find somebody a little distance from you I'm closing with all this say to that person say neighbor I know you have faith don't keep it in your mind talk about it talk about your plans your dreams your vision talk about where you are going to talk to the right people and you have the right connection for the right success say amen wherever you are find someone else find someone else say neighbor Goliath was a giant David was a small boy but by faith in God he challenged Goliath say neighbor can you challenge your Goliath today by faith in God taking necessary steps making necessary actions your Goliath will fall and the head of Goliath will be cut off ask him do you really believe finally find someone else finally before we go find someone else say neighbor I want to tell you faith cannot work unless there is action say my, my neighbor do you want God to give you grace us again eh? see I step out in faith once you take a step of faith the grace will be released shout aloud once you take a step of faith the grace will be released the grace will be released see from now till December you will carry grace grace for success grace for righteousness because you will take a step of faith and grace will follow you see do you understand stand where you are don't move everyone in church this morning grace is your portion why is grace your portion you are taking steps of faith you are what you are taking steps of faith you are what you are taking steps of faith you are what you are what you are what somebody say no matter how little take that step when you no matter how little take that step God we give the grace we give the grace we give the grace now put your hand this way I say every sickness in my body I believe Jesus died for me he is my healer so every sickness in my body you cannot stay here with Jesus so get out leave my body and don't come back again for you and Jesus cannot share my body you spirit of infirmity pain in my joints pain in my head trouble in my system I give you an order by the authority of Jesus Christ get out and don't come back again because I have faith 
and I speak by faith. And I speak by faith. And I speak by faith. I refuse to die before my time. Where you are, sir? Where you are? Say, as I say it, as I confess it, so shall it be. I have faith. I'm taking action by my words, by my utterances. Nothing can destroy me in this city, in my community. I shall not be destroyed. Anything that want to destroy me, catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Say everything I do. Make we with so much faith. Everything I do, no bother. Must succeed. For it is written, whatever I lay my hands to do, shall prosper. According to that word of God, I have faith. Anything I touch from now on shall succeed, shall excel, shall flourish. I confess it, I believe it, I declare it. Somebody say from today. I have, power I have power as an overcomer. Where well, anyway, I have power, I have power as, an as an overcomer. From now on, From now on no, power no power of hell shall subdue me. Shall subdue me. For, I power, For I have power. Power in God. Power, in God. power of God. Power, power with God. To conquer Satan. Every day. Every day. So Satan, Satan. By, the by the authority I have in God, have in God. Pack, your pack your baggage. Get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get out of my business. Get out of my marriage. Get out of my plans. Get out. By the authority of Jesus. Whom I serve. Whose I am. You spirit of fear. Get out. I am fruitful. Physically fruitful. Spiritually fruitful. Financially fruitful. I am fruitful. From now on. I will bear fruit. And my fruit will last. Will last. I will last. My family will last. My destiny will last. I believe it. I confess it. I will last. In the name of Jesus. Stand where you are. Let me give you a verse. We'll pray it and live here. I want you to go and exercise this faith in your home. Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. Let me give you that verse for prayer. Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. Read. Read so loud, everybody. Blessed is the man who trusts who? Who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Yes. He will be like a tree planted by the waters that send out its roots by the stream. He does not fear when heat comes. His leaves are always green. He has no worries in years of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Look for ten persons, shout by faith. You will never fear to be you will never fail to be fruitful in your life. Go ahead. You will never fail to be fruitful. 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 You will never fail. You 
you will never fail. You will never fail. You will never fail to be fruitful. Fruitful spiritually. Fruitful physically. Fruitful financially. Fruitful according to the word of God. Let's read it again. Let's read it again. Read. Verse 7 to 8. We'll close with that. Verse 7 to 8. Go. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. How many of you trust God? Hallelujah. Because you trust God, what will happen in your life? Verse 8. Everyone. He will be like a tree planted by the water. Stop there. Look at your neighbor and say, I prophesy upon your life. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Number one. Say number one. Your root will always get water. Fresh water. Number two. You will not fear when heat comes. Number three. Your leaves will always be green. Always be green. Number four. You will not have worries in the year of drought. And number five. You will never fail to be a fruit. Shout a dangerous amen wherever you are somebody. These are the words of the Lord and you must anchor your faith on it. Amen. amen. This one is also good for you to take home. I know many of you know it by heart but let's read it. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. Take it home also. We are taking blessings home. Are you ready for this? Exodus 23, 25 to 26. Read again one more time when you worship the Lord your God what will happen and his blessings will be on your food and on your water I will take away sickness from among you what next none of you will have miscarriage or be buried in your land and I will give you a full lifespan I believe the word of God Tell your neighbor, because you are a worshiper of God. So if your neighbor is not talking with faith, join your faith, you okay. Say, neighbor, because you are a worshiper of God, your food is blessed, your water is blessed, sicknesses are taken away from you, there shall be no barrenness. Both barrenness of the womb, no barrenness in business, no barrenness in academics, no barrenness in career, no spiritual barrenness. Say no miscarriage. When you start anything, you'll be alive to finish it. You will not miscarry your vision. You will not miscarry your dreams. You will not miscarry your child. You will not miscarry your finance. Say, neighbor, you will not die before your time. All these things you said are for me. They are for me. They will happen in my life. Finally, look for somebody that believes what you are going to say now and I close you. Find that person and say, because you are a worshiper of God. As you are living here now, your food is blessed. Your water is blessed. Sicknesses are taken away from you. There shall be no barrenness. Which means, you must remain fruitful. There shall be no miscarriage. Which means, when you start, you will complete. And you will not die before your time. 
wave your hands and bless God if you believe those words that is faith that's why we're here this morning to challenge ourselves encourage ourselves in faith and believe God for his grace and believe God for his miracles Lord I prophesy those of them that came here sick take your healing now take your healing now so you give me that full screen I want to pray for our television audience who are watching us around the world father I pray somebody stretch your hand towards the camera let's pray for those in the hospital who are watching us face the camera everybody camera is behind you stretch your hand towards the camera somebody say father we pray for our viewers who are watching us from different countries of the world on television let the power of God enter their homes their lives their hospital rooms let the power of God enter their offices let there be healing let there be deliverance let there be miracles you spirit of sickness get out of them now get out let there be healing miracle on all our viewers on youtube on instagram on facebook let there be healing wherever you are now watching this program take your healing take your healing take your deliverance the yoke is broken the yoke is broken the yoke is broken the yoke is broken Father, we pray for all those who are barren, who are watching this program. Take your triplets. Take your twins. Take your miracle baby. We pray for business people who are viewing this program. We decree your financial doors are opened. Receive supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody watching us from mental hospital, Ndala Naapo, in mental hospital, you mentally demented situation, Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be cure for mentally demented ones who are viewing us right now. Receive your healing. Let your mind be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those who are depressed. Those who want to commit suicide. You demon of hell. You suicidal foul spirits. You demon of depression and bipolar pack your baggage get out of the life in the name of Jesus Christ we pray for recovery now we pray for restoration now we pray for freedom now in the name of Jesus Christ anyone that is under attack you can't sleep in the night take your freedom take your freedom take your freedom take your freedom Lift your hands and bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody exalt his name. Worship him. Thank him. Exalt his name. As you take your seat quietly, we'll soon go. Still do we have live people with us? Anybody live? Take your seat quietly and keep thanking the Lord. We pray for you. Oh God, you was in us from Houston, Texas. Oh God, you could receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for you watching us from a kitty. Uh, Uluwashen watching from a kitty. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Oge watching from USA. Oge receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Another viewer from Canada. Emanuela receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody else has, is viewing from Abuja. Neka receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody else is free from Lagos. Njideka, receive your open door in the name of Jesus. It's a live viewer from Abuja. Precious, receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is watching from Omaba. Cynthia, receive your open door in the name of Jesus Christ. There's another viewer from uh, Franksville. Uh, Ada Zion, receive your open door in the name of Jesus Christ. All of you that will join later to view, receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands again to Jesus Church. As you wave your hand, begin to pray for your family members. 
na bondebu na fofu funiru